I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Welcome. We are here. We are near Studio City, talking about <laughs> Studio Siri the series. I'm James Hutchinson, saying it five times fast, and welcome to Spotlight On. We spotlight either an artist or a show. You know what I do here? I always spotlight great series. And we're doing that today with this another great series on Amazon Prime. I'm so excited. I have a gaggle of people in here. <laughs> <Gaggle. laughs> we're going to answer all of them. Well, of course, like I said, I'm James Lott Jr., and I'm here. You follow me where James Lott Jr. is sold, at James Lott Jr. everywhere. So now, okay, I'm going to do these introductions. I have these all planned out for everybody in here. So I'm going to start this. I can't wait. Okay. Sitting next to me, one of my first interviews here at After Buzz TV was with this lady. She is everywhere, folks. Prime time, daytime, web, I mean, everywhere. And she plays a hilarious, and I want to find out where the name came from, <laughs> Gloria, <clears throat> I have an idea, this is our producer on this series. And you know, of course, it's Diane Miller on General Hospital, Ms. Carolyn Hennessy. Hello. Hi, girl. How are you? Good, I'm good. so happy to be here with I'm everyone. Here. With yeah. this murder or this yes. gaggle. Gaggle. <laughs> uh, Flock. Nursery. Flock. Flock. <laughs> now, see across from her, I met her 30 years ago at the Soap Opera Dice Awards. Mm -hmm. And I get to call her my friend. And she is everywhere, too, folks. She is everywhere. And I mean, web series. I mean, her credits are just so long. Yeah. Look them up. But you know what? She's one of the nicest people in the business. <laughs> and she plays Sean Cannon's character's mom, Violet, on the show. Way too young to be playing that. But she's the bomb, Patricia Thank Darbo. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Lovely. Good to see you. Now, this buddy, whenever I call or he calls, we answer the phone. Yep. It's very important in this business, we answer the phone. And he is stars in this series. He is hilarious as Sam Stevens and Dr. Pierce Hartley. I love that name. And now we're guessing with that name. And you've seen him on a million things. And I, of course, I have to ask him that one question later on the show that I always ask him every time he comes on over here. But let's welcome Sean Kanan. Thanks, buddy. It's so good to see you. It's Thank you so you. much for having us. It's my pleasure. Always my pleasure. Now on the couch, they're not they're not banned or anything. There's not enough room <laughs> up here box. on the dais. There's any room here. We're gonna start from left to right. I guess my left to the right. This gentleman is daytime royalty. Oh. I mean, like seriously, daytime royalty. And I got to meet him at a book signing that we're both in. So that's Factor X. Get that book. <laughs> Get it where all books are sold. He's in it. I'm in it. Yeah. Uh, and I met him and his lovely wife. And you know him, of course, as that scoundrel Colin on y &R once in a while. But you really know him as Robert Scorpio, Tristan Rogers. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, he play, and he plays his dad. So he plays Doc. So he's it's, it's, it's funny on there, too. <clears throat> Sitting next to him, the brains behind the operation. <laughs> The brains. There's the good woman behind, next, not behind, next to the man. Definitely next in to her. Front Definitely. Of the man. In front of the man. I'm racing to keep up with her. Exactly. She Skip runs ahead. things. And I just love her to pieces, and she knows that. And she is a co writer, co producer, and did the casting on this, right? Correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Michelle so Kanan. Doesn't that make me the brawn? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> Brawn, beauty, everything. Everything. Makes you the whipping boy. <laughs> yeah, that's no, that's true. me. That's me. That's you. And he likes that. Now, in the corner, we have to put him in the corner because he's just too good looking. So I right. put him in the corner because we just, I mean, just it's too much. <laughs> too much. He plays the rival of Sean's character. Uh, I'll make sure I'll make both names correctly Nick Cassidy and Dr. Devin Stryker. And he, I, I, this is my first time really meeting him in person. We follow each other online. Mr. Philip, now I say your last name correctly, Bruin? That's correct. I say it correctly. Hi, Philip. Hey. Welcome to After Buzz and all this. I love it. Very good. So, okay, first got to do some church announcements. This is what I got to do. You can follow Spotlight On on iTunes, excuse me, Apple Podcasts. Let me make sure I say it right. Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, and YouTube under Spotlight On. And this is going to be under the cast of Studio City. So, you're going to find this anytime. This link is forever. Forever and ever. <laughs> and you're going to share with everybody who needs to know this. There are people in the chat room. Hi, do you guys in the <clears> chat room? Um, but you're going to follow this. Like, subscribe, comment, rate. Tell us how beautiful we are. Just, I mean, just, just comment how beautiful Please. <laughs> please tell us. Please Feed tell the ego, us. Please. We're begging you. Please tell us. <laughs> now, this, today is the Sunday soap block. So I have to miss because many people come from soaps. Right after the show is Days of Our Lives after show, Dish and Days. They're on, and they're going to have, they have guest Emmy winner Freddie Smith on today. And I love oh. Freddie. Great guy. Really great guy. So he'll be on today. He had a really amazing week on the show last week. So he'll be on there today, and that's at 3.15. And then at 5, we have Restless Rap, which is the Young and the Restless after show. Now, unfortunately, General Hospital didn't have any episodes this week. <clears throat> they didn't air anything. I talked to Nathan Varney today, and he said they're going to try to air them soon. So there won't be a GH report today, just because they're... 
no episodes to talk about. And then, of course, Bowl Breakdown, the show I do with Tammy Govea. We'll be back next Sunday during the Super Bowl, of course. But we'll be here <laughs> talking about all the happenings on the Bowl and the Beautiful. That's next Tuesday at 2 o'clock. Next Sunday at 2 o'clock. And then also, in two weeks, is my five-year anniversary at After Buzz TV. That's great. As a producer, host, and creator. Thank you. Now, just tell her, she was one of my first interviews. Carolyn Hennessy was my first interviews. Um, and actually, Sean, an interview we did three years ago here, mm -hmm. four, no, four years ago here now, oh is almost up to 200,000 views. Really? Wow, thank you. That's incredible. It's, it's, you very it's, it's very interesting. It's like they liked our, our interview for some reason. So it was, it was, I'm like, I'm very, very thankful for that. But I'm planning a big celebration, so you want to check into that. It's February 16th. So I think that's right. everything. I think that's everything. We're there. Welcome to everybody. The show is good. The show is actually the show. fantastic. <laughs> Fabulous. Like all the adjectives. It is. No, I yeah. tweeted out right away, and you guys, some of you guys know this. Uh, when I watched, I was like, everybody run, don't walk. Yeah. This series <laughs> is good. Uh, the production value, the writing, the acting, of course, the acting, but the production right, the writing is so good. So, I mean, it's amazing for for you know digital series now, <clears throat> everything good. Well, I'll just kick it off. Kick it off, Carol. <laughs> kick it off, Carol. Okay, do you. Take it away, Carolyn. I think, I think I probably speak for everybody. Maybe not. Maybe not you. Whatever. Because you're, so <laughs> you're so young, and and for those of us who have been kicking around a long time, we get offered these things. We mm -hmm. get offered these web series, and you know, if you've done a lot of theater, yes. you 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 know, tiny little theater roles where you have to go and change in the alley, and you, I mean, it's just it's just all these things that you hope will come to some sort of fruition. And maybe they get a pilot shot, and then it disappears. And maybe you do something like this, and then it, and it disappears. And so we don't get our hopes up. This series, however, is one of those rare, rare birds where it's going to have a tremendously long life. This is just one of those reasons why we all say yes to everything in hopes of getting something like this. No, well, no, thank you. Yeah. No, I'm glad you said that. Because my opening question to the seasoned people in the room, we'll just use the word seasoned. <laughs> Some of us more seasoned than others, no, Chris. So I was like, no, seasoned in the room. Is that mush? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm all Tristan, Sean, <laughs> Patrika, Carolyn, Carol. myself. Charlie. We're so seasoned. Charlie. 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 <laughs> no, uh, there's actually a question I really want to ask, because you brought up a little bit, and that is, we all saw three networks at one time, mm -hmm. then the invention of cable, mm -hmm. basic, then premium, then the web, and now digital streaming. So we've seen it all happen. So is something like this now a godsend to you guys in terms of your acting and being able to actually act and be in projects? Is this something that's just like, this is prolonging longevity? For me, I'm Go going ahead. to say at this point, since I deal a lot with the Television Academy, that started with three networks. There are not three networks anymore, and this digital thing that we're doing is the future. Mm -hmm. And I think those powers that be that we all know need to embrace that and realize that this is the future and start cultivating it, putting money out <coughs> there, and realizing <coughs> that the plethora of talent that is out here needs to be embraced and needs to be the future, which it already is. Because <clears throat> for so many years, people would do web series in the hope that a big network would pick you up and pay right. you. And now, <clears throat> I think I think we are really on the, just kind of right over the line of things like this on, on their own kind of platform that's not a big nationally recognized or world recognized right. cable, uh, cable um, outlet. And and we'll get we're going to start getting paid for this this kind of thing. It's like people are going to start coming here more and more often. So, I mean, we <coughs> Apple has it now. Google has the streaming mm -hmm. with all <coughs> these things. That first of all, there's not an actor in this world that should not be working because yes. of the amount of television right. that's out right. there. Yes. Right. Um, and hello, we're all here. <laughs> tell them, girl. Tell them. And we are tell all available. Right. And I think the other <coughs> thing is that in the in when we were writing. That was one of the storylines that we really wanted to pick up, and that was mostly what Carolyn's character was about. Is she was struggling between what's happening to the networks and what's happening in daytime, where you know the the audience is there, but the finance isn't there because it, it's it's migrating. So what we kind of wanted to show that like she's her character was torn because she loved that system, she loved the soaps, and you know as many people do for that's why they're on they're the longest running shows, and you know she wanted to keep it alive, but at the same time, 
make it fresh and make it updated and, and continue with the audience, but also, you know, find a way to make it profitable. And, and, and how do you do that? Because exactly. I know the soaps that we work on, <laughs> mm -hmm. every year, the budgets are slashed yes. and yeah. slashed yeah. and slashed. And it's like, we're going to all be naked on yeah. screen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, God, I can't. So, some of us already have been over here now. I mean, yes. Yes. I, I, when, I, but when I'm naked, the ratings go down. No. <laughs> so, I just want to say that I think Days of Our Lives has embraced it because they no. do have a digital platform yeah. now, yes. which I was just right. fortunate. Yeah. You were on recently. I was yeah. just recently able to do it. And I think, really, the others need to get on there, too, because it's a whole... They, they have a whole way of doing a different story and yeah. bringing things in and that... It, yeah. that showing what we're doing here yeah. you know I think we, we should I mentioned that but I want to get on to Studio City and say kids get on that go to Amazon look at that look mm -hmm. at our show we need our ratings we need you to be out there as every show does because you the audience out there are the people that take care of us you you let us do more you bring us into your homes and we would like you to know that and how much we appreciate it and do it some more please yeah because we don't we don't have jobs if we right. don't have viewers. Yeah, no, I think it's I'll ask Tristan because I know that um, I can't. I can't even see that. Uh, oh, move the mic a little closer to you. We can move the mic a little closer to you now. There you go, like Madonna or something. <laughs> um, okay, so Tristan, for you because you first played a very recognizable role as Robert Scorpio on on Jurassic World for years, right? Um, and then YNR called you up and said, "Come on, let's play. You get to play somebody a little different." Right again. So this must be nice to play something even more different. Well. The difference about this show when it first hit me was that this show ticked all the boxes. I mean, we were doing stuff here, we started to do stuff here, which none of the other shows were doing, and it was basically a combination of a number of things. It was the story management, which all the current soaps do poorly now. Yes. It didn't happen that way back in the 80s, but it happens that way now. And we, we had great story management. and. The basically, the, the, um, the plots were pretty much the same as what other people were doing. Mm -hmm. However, the difference here was in, and I can't put this into exact words, when you're doing something right, you know it's right. When mm -hmm. it sucks, you also know it sucks. <laughs> right, 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 right. And you can't always verbalize why it's right and why it's wrong. You just know, mm -hmm. oh, this feels good. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. And so this fell into that bracket. And to this moment, you know, I've watched it two or three times, mm -hmm. and it gets better all the time. Yes. I mean, there are certain yes. elements you go, like, oh, I noticed that, or oh, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, when did she do that? Or, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And it's just one of those things that, you know, you've got to watch it, and then you'll get it. Mm -hmm. For me to sit back here and try to do a verbal sell on it, you know, might come across as I'm trying to sell a used car. Right. But that's not the case at all. Yeah. I mean, I'm very enthusiastic mm -hmm. about it, and I get as many people as I can to watch it and say, okay, what did you think, and why do you think that? Yeah. Mm. And to, to that end, the reviews have been spectacular. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. reviews yeah. and yeah. the critiques yeah. have been yeah. terrific. Yep. They're yeah. all positive. Yeah. Sean, tell us about the show. So this is a show that I've been working on in different uh, evolutions for a really long time. Michelle and I have worked together on this f off and on for, for several years. Since we met. Since we oh, met. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I, this is something that yeah. I've been trying to get made uh, under different names and, and in different formats. I, I didn't originally envision this as being uh, a short-form digital series, but when we... Uh, spoke with our producing uh, partner and our director, uh, Tim Woodward Jr., who is a feature film director. You know, we had this great meeting. I went to the studio to talk to Tim. I had done two films for him. I had done Gangsterland and uh, I did uh, Beyond the Edge. And I had supporting roles and I wanted to talk to him about the possibility of doing bigger roles with him. And we got in this conversation about uh, digital dramas. And I said, you're interested in doing that? And he said, yeah. And I said, well, I, th I think I have something you might like. And he said, if I like it, I'll do it. And I gave him the script. And uh, I think two days later, he said, we're going to do this. And I think eight weeks later, oh we yeah. were in production. And yeah. you know, I just want, I want to say one thing, that this project for me really illustrates what a collaborative medium we work in this project specifically. Um, you know, without my wife's hard work, without my partnership uh, with Tim, and without all of my friends who, you know, really did this as a favor uh, for me. 
uh, this never would have happened. And yeah. so, you know, I, I wear a lot of hats in this production, mm -hmm. but this really has been a team effort, and I love each and every one of you for doing this. I don't want to get, you know, I, I love that. but it's, it's true. I, I really, I I mean, you know, I, I always joke, I Patrick and I have worked on more productions oh than God, I can count. I Starting with, I think we did we did uh, Step by Step <laughs> with Suzanne Summers <laughs> a million years ago. You and I have worked yes. on several. Yes. You and Michelle have worked on one. Yes. Tristan and I are yes. dear friends and yeah. have worked together, and Phil is a new friend. You know, actually, I didn't... Uh, I didn't know Phil was going to be uh, a part of the cast. Michelle didn't actually cast Phil. Oh. He came. He came through Tim Woodward. And you know, I, I have to say, you see a guy that's this good looking, yeah. and, yeah. And, and I knew he was perfect for the part physically. But he is so funny. Yeah, he's good. And he's you're got good, such, good. He's got such great moments, and he's a great talent. And I was like, wow, this is meant to be because the, the couple of pieces that we didn't put in place came into place and fit. Perfectly. I, yeah. right. I want to mention Sarah Joy Brown, Scott Turner Schofield, <laughs> oh, friends yeah. of mine, yeah. Melissa Rizzo. I want to mention them. They have a bunch of great cast. Yeah. They have a yeah. great cast. So, Sean, I have to Thank mention you. to you because, good, good girl, you did a good job. Thank you. But I have to ask you because people have mentioned to me a lot of women and a few men <laughs> were saying, talk about how this is like aging Hollywood actor. You know, you look good. Oh, thank you. People do that. They don't buy, they don't buy it. They're like, we don't buy it. He looks good. He looks great. Like, aging. He looks great. I mean, he has, he has a painting in his attic. That's, that's going all. Sorry. Yeah. Because we're hell. around the same age. And I was like, I was like, I was like yeah, he does look good. You, you but know I what, know though, the concept. I know you know, the concept. What are the, what are the major, one of the major themes, uh, we, we have some really interesting social themes that yes, we deal with. We have Me Too. We have... Uh, God, what else, Michelle? We've got Me Too. We've got Ageism is a big one that I was going to go to. But we have... Yeah, the, uh, um, we. Uh, I mean, we we pretty much span the globe yeah. of. of Topics but, but of, of the, the ageism issue is something that yeah. I really wanted to touch on because you know as a guy that started in 1992 in General Hospital as a kind of a younger leading man yeah. and then you mature and then suddenly you're no longer the, the younger leading you're man the and and you have to try and age gracefully mm -hmm. and uh, you know I, I wanted to touch on that because ageism is such a thing Ugh. that affects all of us in Hollywood and and. You know, people think that if you're not 20 years old, that somehow you're you're not relevant, and I, I just don't believe that. And I think when you look at our cast, you know, you see the four of us, yeah, uh, who are all actors of a certain age. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's resonating with the people who mm -hmm. watch it. So, wait, you said you were 30. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I play yeah. I play 45 on the show, but I'm 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 older. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I have to mention this in the chat room. Dwight, All this time, Dwight <laughs> says Tristan Rogers never Tristan Rogers never ages, still looks the same. Well, he drinks, the, he drinks the blood of virgins. Yeah. So. <laughs> but, but, you know, <laughs> but that was, but honestly, that's where the storyline came from, yes. was because if you, you have look at daytime, oh, daytime actors never age. They look good. And we wanted to put that into the storyline, and we were like, how do we incorporate that? And like on camera, you see them day after day after day, and they never age. And But then yeah. there is a reality to it that they're expected to. Yeah. It's not that they, it's just they're blessed and they're genetically superior. They just are expected to do that and like all the things and we wanted to show more, but we just didn't have time. So folks. Well, in, yeah. in this season. Yeah, this yes, season. Yeah. Exactly. So, so the episodes, exactly. there's six episodes that are under 10 minutes long. So I want you guys to know that. So they're, they're really, you know, they're easy to, they pack a lot in 10, you know, under 10 minutes. Yeah. But as much as I said, they're not super long, so they can only do so much story. You can only right. do so much story. That's right. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't specifically story. What it was is, we toyed with what we were going to do with this. Was this going to be a 60-minute pilot, and then we were just going to wait and do a whole series, or were we going to do this streaming? And originally, it was a comedy. Oh, it I, was, can, I can see that. I can it, see was that. A, it was a sitcom. It was a light sitcom. We yeah. approached Patrika, and Patrika, we were like, you're going to be this over-the-top, yeah. overbearing stage mom. It's going to be hilarious. Yeah. And then we hit her with like the most... Serious, <laughs> right. heavy yeah, I know, I know. scene of her life yes, exactly. that is just like gripping and raw. Yes. And I think we gave it to you like two days before being on set, or the was it the uh, well, Tristan, <laughs> Tristan, Tristan, Tristan got a scene that must have been set. about a page yeah. and a half monologue yes. on, on the day. On and, and I have to say something. You know, thank God that that I was able to surround us with with daytime actors yeah. because Tristan said, "Leave me alone." He got I, it. Actually, went, "Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me look at this for a second. And he sat." 
sat there and he looked at it and I mean, you know, he is not Robert Scorpio in this. Right. No, he's not. And, 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 you know, to watch Tristan do this kind of work mm -hmm. and know, you know, Michelle and I were a part of, you know, yeah. it's it's just it's just wonderful. And you know, in the scenes with Patrika and Tristan, I don't really have a lot of lines. I get to just sit there and listen, and people are saying, oh, you're so much emotion. I said, I, it's, it's not acting. I just right. he's, listen he's to them. He's acting with his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> the, the original, real actor, right the right the original <laughs> copy you <laughs> gave me had nothing to do with right, exactly. what I yeah. ultimately did. Yeah. Yeah. It was a dance number. It was, I missed that part. I don't know, I went to the bathroom. But, uh, <laughs> he was oh. Originally, Tristan was going to be this homeless guy yeah. that was kind of like the sage that was just going to give Sam advice. Yeah. And then we were like, Wait, let's do something more. And then yeah. and like let's these not tell guys, him. <laughs> let's not tell him until he yeah. gets here. Yes. So we he gets there and we're like, so and he's like, Do you have do you have, do you have page any good and he's like, Oh no, no, I brought my script and I was like, Yeah, I'll just take that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We've got first <laughs> Yeah. So we so we kind of put him off in a corner and you know, and these guys like they're fantastic. Like, yeah. that the hardest working actors in the of business course. are so bad. Yeah, they are. Like, they, no they, they, I mean, they Easily. they they know their lines. They only expect one take. Yeah, and you don't have to go for like seventy five takes of safety no. and whatever. You get one. Yeah, and so on this set, Tim, that was one of the things that he was like, "Oh my god, I can't believe yeah. we're moving with time so fast." Yeah. Like they get through this, they and it. and they they're <laughs> able to ad lib and they're able to do it repeatedly. Yes. Where, where a lot of actors will ad lib and then they're like, okay, do it again because we need coverage. And you're like, well, I don't remember what I did. Right. And that's right. what takes so long. And these guys like could do it. And then we have Phil. Yeah, that's about, that's about Phil. We'll talk about Phil. Him. And I'm going to do a magic trick. Watch, I can make him talk. <laughs> so, <laughs> Phil, you should share your story of how about how, how, how long you had to prepare to be on set. Oh, let's see. Um, <clears throat> I was in Las Vegas on my birthday, Aww. and I got a call at 10 o'clock at night. They said, hey, we've got a job offer for you. It starts at 8 a.m. <laughs> I'm like, there's no flights out. They said, better rent a car. I'm like, oh, okay. My goodness. Drove through the night. Just showed up wow. saying, all right, what are we doing? Like, here, your first shot. Here's your scene. I'm like, wow. Oh, all right, let's go. <laughs> So just take your shirt off. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't tell me that either. Like, yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be a no, great project. Was. Oh, by the way, you're shirtless the entire time. I'm like, oh, cool. Now, yeah. I want to ask you, so did you ever watch soaps or anything? Did you know about soaps growing up? I, I did know about soaps, but I, I did not watch them before. Yeah. So what was it like working with these actors? You're just Actually, like prepared, ready, and I just, it must be nice. It was pretty awesome. I didn't get to have scenes with everybody, yeah, right. but I got to hang out backstage with people off scene, and yeah. everybody was really cool. I, I got to see people working on their stuff. Um, I, I remember watching Tristan over there working on his things at the uh, on set. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, it, it was just really amazing. Because there's a, you know, it's it's incredible to see everybody so talented. So where'd you come from? By Who that. are you? Where'd you come from? Well, let's see. Uh, I came from uh, North Carolina. Hey. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. You Ellen don't sound like South. you're from North Carolina. <laughs> well, no, you haven't asked me to put on my southern accent. Oh, no there we go. I, I worked very diligently yeah. to there try to not sound like I'm from the south. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I love it. There you go. <laughs> um, so yeah, I generally had a, a different career aspect that I was moving with, and I switched over to acting, and mm -hmm. I'd actually worked with Tim Pryor on a on a film. I had a quick scene on Gangsterland, actually. Oh, okay. We didn't get to work together. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I, I played uh, one of the leads, uh, stunt doubles on that oh. in the in the boxing scenes. Yeah. And um, after that, I'd worked on uh, another film with Tim. Um, it, it was called The Outsider. Mm. And after that, that's when he had actually contacted yeah. me for this project. Um, prior work was mostly just kind of... Uh, Daytime television yeah. or regular television. What do you like working with Tim? What is it about him you like? You've worked with him so many times now. <laughs> he gets to the point. Okay, we like that. <laughs> that, that okay. Is like, I like that. That is the main thing. And it's funny, <clears throat> the times I've worked with him, this scenario that we're talking about where it's like, hey, we're going to change script. Hey, this is going to happen. That's kind of how he works under pressure. Like when we were working on the, the Outsider Project, our set burned down. So oh they had God. to rewrite the entire end of the script. Wow. Like, here, this is the new stuff. We're like, oh, all right. Go. Wow. And so uh, that was kind of similar seeing how he worked with that on here. Yeah. And it was nice to see how the actors work differently. Because on other projects, the actors didn't respond well to that kind of pressure that I saw. And here, it was an incredibly different experience. Yeah. You have new fans now. They're, they're just like, they're, they're <laughs> loving you. They're like, where is he? Who is he? What's he on? Watch the, watch the series. You'll see him. Watch the series. And I saw you're left handed. 
Yes. Good catch. I watched the show. I watched. I watched it. That kid's I'm left handed. Left handed. So I watched that. He's left handed. Don't pick that up. But but that's why I think an improvisational background for every actor is a necessity. Absolutely. Yeah. To yeah. be able to. to turn on a dime. You make a big bold choice, and it's like no. Oh, okay. Yeah. What else do you? What yeah. else? Here. I let think, me I think as an actor, if you yes, if, and. if you have the ability to kind of. On the on the snap, create your own dialogue when asked for, and it's good dialogue. That can that can take you from being a great a good actor to being a great actor. Mm -hmm. uh, your performance, right? Because it's it's really something that's very important to be able to do. I think. So, Patrika and so you've worked together a lot. So in different capacities. So every we I mean, even made out. Oh, hey, that's right. I'm like, yeah, we made out. In our, we made was, out with your that mom. That was my scripting. We, we made, we made <laughs> out in the uh, in a video together. Yeah. I'm going that's on so record. I made Sean. And she made was dressed out like a cop. Okay. When did I make out with him? In True Colors. No, we didn't kiss, did we? Did we kiss? I would remember that. <laughs> At the end. I want to I want to oh reshoot. Oh my god, it's on YouTube. I want to reshoot. Google YouTube. Uh, We're all going. True Colors. Yeah. Sean Kanan and Carolyn Hennessy in the oh, very wow. end. That's oh, we right. did kiss, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's right. How could you forget? Never yes. question the youngster in the room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Tr Tristan and I have not made out. You have not made out. You have not made out. No plans on that. No, 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 no. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Season two. Season two. You're right. But no, I mean, because you have to. You know, each project is different, so you know each other so well. So how is it every time you guys come together and play a different relationship? We drink first. <laughs> <laughs> we drink, drink during. <laughs> I think you know. I think sometimes actors are seen by an audience as as they see one dimension yes, of that actor do. and don't realize that a lot of people that can do really great dramatic stuff mm -hmm. have a really funny streak. And mm -hmm. if they're just given the right project to show that, uh, you know, it, it allows audiences to see an entirely different side of them. And yeah. I think that we <coughs> all have a lot of different facets <coughs> as actors. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, yeah, it's never boring working with Patrika. It's always yeah. something completely different. But the stuff in Studio City, uh, yes. we've never had stuff like that before. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, Intermittently hilarious and then heart wrenching. Yes. So you got to see Patrika, Carolyn. They're all fabulous. They all are. of them. They are. And I was asking you, so because Sarah Joy Brown's <coughs> in, which I I want to meet her one day. I love her. I've been She's a fan great. of hers for years. Did you guys work together at your hospital all at the same time or no? No, she came before my time. Uh, okay. She was the original Carly. Yes. I, I and believe. she came back as Claudia later. But I, I had to have all this explained to me by my wife. <laughs> I'm sorry. After, <laughs> you know. Thanks, wife. Just like that, a footnote that I also made out with Sarah Brown. We have a oh, child. We have a child together. That's how you do. <laughs> yeah, AJ and Carly. That's how you do. They you both do. got bombed and at the I, bar and had a kid. Right, you and you're yeah. my great nephew, right? Am I? I'm B. &B. Oh, I'm B. &B. B, &B. B, &B. Oh, See how incestuous this is. <laughs> See how incestuous this is. Wait, 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 didn't you get him out of jail? On it. I got him out of jail. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, I did. Did I? Yes, you did. Can we get you on B and B to get Deacon out of jail? <laughs> Deacon out of jail. <laughs> Hello, they B &B. want him. They want him. Hello, why not? Hello, uh, yeah. B and B. If anyone's watching. Hello. Hello. Wally Kurt does it. He's on several soaps That's at right. one time. That's right. He's so killing him. So is Tristan. And so is Tristan. I know. So is Tristan. Killed. Yeah. I know. Tristan, we need to get you on days. I do remember yeah, I being in scenes with you on GH, yeah. and this was years ago, yeah. and. Just watching you and being so impressed, but you were so funny off off screen. <laughs> and good. then, and then in the original reading of this, which was originally titled "The Bubble," it was the bubble, yeah. You, it was very funny, mm -hmm. but then watching you, watching the the end product. First of all, watching you work with me, but then watching the end product and seeing because you know I'm obviously I'm not in every scene, so yeah. seeing the whole thing, I, like Sean, I just I my estimation of you grew. Ten, Aww. ten Aww. freaking fold, and it was very kind started out very hot. I, <laughs> so. I, will, I will back that up and say that Sean, you are a very underrated actor. I really, no, I really think, I mean, every people love you. People, people in your chat. I'm a like, national treasure. Let's face it. Yes, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. No, 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 seriously. Yeah. People, yeah. people yeah. in the chat oh, are just like naming so all their different done. roles yeah. and how much yeah. they still want yeah. you on the yeah. show. Here's, 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 here's the thing true. that I'm going to say. This character, uh, Sam Stevens, aka Doctor Pierce Hartley, is really. Honestly, very close to a lot of who I am. And I figured, you know what? We were going to do this project, and I was finally going to get the chance to do a role that, you know, I, I had a lot of control over. And I figured, I'm going to sink or swim, but it's going to be because of the choices that I make and, and you know, what I'm able to put put out there as the character and I'm just I'm really appreciative that people are responding to it. You have the greatest facial expressions. 
Oh my goodness! I laugh. You have some of the funniest facial Don't in, ever in this get series. in an argument with him because his facial expressions will, and he changes the tone of his voice, and it's very hypnotic. Oh my so god! You get distracted. So like, a lot of the, the arguments yeah. that I've had in my head with him were glorious oh, dialogue. Oh, how uh, funny! Yeah, I wrote Behind all the scenes, of her folks. Dialogue. Yeah, Ooh. And, Ooh. and I thank you. So the, oh. the scene where she's saying, you know, if you take all your tricks away yes. and you're you're not you not have been. That is an argument that we've had. And I'm like, are you a working <laughs> wow. actor because you're pretty or because you're talented? Because a lot of times, like, you, ha- it's hard as a, a performer to get out of that headspace where I have to look right to be on camera. When nobody's looking at what you look at, they look at what you do. Yeah. Right. And, like, that, that's a hard one. And wow. the audition one, too, because my daughter's in it. My daughter uh, is uh, Delilah. Yeah. And she's gone through it. And she's like, she's I go beautiful. through so yeah, many... Beautiful auditions and and they say no it's like hard to get no all the time and I'm like well they're not saying no to you they're saying you don't fit this role you're yes. not a bad actor it's not that you're not bad it's just that you're not right for this one so go do some find your one so right. it's tough to take it to not take yes. it personally so tough yeah. and Studio yeah. City does something really interesting though which I think is going to be very appealing not just to soap fans who are going mm-hmm. to love it but mm-hmm. to the broader well to the world yes to the universe um, because <clears throat> When we're watching the soap within the soap, mm-hmm. it could it could have easily kind of gone into caricature. Absolutely, yes. you know, excellent point. That yeah. that you know that I'm looking into the camera now and I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes. right. laughs> um, <laughs> totally. God, right. le- God bless Drake Hogeston. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I love Drake. That's exactly what it looks like. Well, I, no, so do yeah, I. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but it yeah. doesn't. Yeah. Right, it does. That was does intentional. It does not. Yeah. And it comes up. It kind of comes up. To the to the edge, yeah. but it never crosses it, and that is the thing that I that sets this series apart from anything else that touches on soap opera. I it's agree. like it's true to it, and it's true to actors trying to be true to their characters. Yeah. Uh, why that whether it's the soap within the soap on on Studio City mm-hmm. or on the set of General Hospital or B and B or Y and R days, mm-hmm. and and that enables you as. Sam, no, not Sam Stevens. Oh, Dr. Pierce Hartley. Yeah, no, no, uh, no, as Sam Stevens, oh, Sam, yes. as Sam yeah. Stevens, to really mine much, much yeah. deeper. And and it's, it's almost like we're watching two different people I on just, that screen. I agree. It's wonderful. Because, you know, it's so often when you see soap operas uh, portrayed in other shows, whatever, it, it's, you know, it's always kind of like they're, they're getting a poke taken at them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Super cheesy. And, you know, yes. daytime actors are some of the best actors that I've I ever agree. worked with. I agree. Um, I've been in daytime <clears throat> off and on since 1992, and it's it's been... Was such a seminal part of my life and when we created this I, I wanted to effectively I've said it before in interviews you know create a love letter to soaps something that was going to be respectful of it that was going to show what it's like to be an actor in daytime you know sometimes showing the pathos and sometimes showing the humor mm-hmm. but not doing it in a way that's you know making fun of the entire genre because I think we get enough of that from sort of mainstream yeah. media yeah. and and it's almost become, you know, they, they, they accuse daytime of being cliche and caricatured. But in reality, the way that they treat it is what the cliche and the character is because that's not really how it is. No. It's true. And any actor that comes onto a soap and does kind of the cliche character thing is gone. They're gone. They're gone. Yeah. Yeah. Is Easily. gone. Easily. Hey, or they come on and they go, um, Lime? Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, can I do that again? Oh, wow. And people are. What? Wow. Right. Right. Mm, right. Not, no. And people have left the show abruptly because they couldn't do it. Yeah. And they've had to get somebody in and replace them immediately because they could not do it. I wow. think Studio City might save soaps. No. Oh. <laughs> I think this is a good time to say that all of those choices, that was Tim. Like, Tim's, he, he really, he's a huge soap fan. And, like, Tim, and, and I'm going to shout out to the crew, Zeb and Leah and yes. Amy. Yeah, we, had, and we had a fantastic crew. All of them, yeah. and even Wayne, our editor. They, they when these guys rolled on to set, mm-hmm. they, you know, came in and they were like, oh, I'm here to work and whatever. The faces of the crew 
like their heart skipped a beat. They were all just like walking around, like, oh yay! Yeah, I didn't know it the was team like, was a soap. I didn't know he was a soap fan funny. until like, we got down the road on this. And I'm like, dude, you're like a fan. Wow. Yeah. Was like, yeah. Down the down, behind the scenes, they would come to me and they're like, do you think I could get a picture? <laughs> oh, that's and I'm so like, funny. They're like, it's like, 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 I don't want it to be weird, but do you think I could get one? And I was like, well, do you, I'll just just ask them. Like right. they're gonna do it. And they're like, no, 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 no. Here's what we do. And then we'd set oh, up like these hilarious. scenarios where. <laughs> I would have to go, oh, it's a set picture. We're going to have to. And they would be like, and they would like get into makeup to get right. the photo because yeah. it was like a treasure. And that like, is so they would funny. send it back. Like, Tim, the first time um, Tim worked with Sean, his mother was like watching, and you know, she's back in North Carolina and she's watching. And she goes, oh my God, that's Tim! And, was so, and she's yeah. like, I don't care. Didn't watch the. And she was right. like, in that moment, my mother was proud of me. Right. And he was like, you know, like that's what made her proud of me. Right. Not she didn't work. care about anybody yeah, else, but Deacon. Yeah. Like yeah, I, I've exactly. made it now because I worked with Deacon, and yeah. so and I was like, well, okay, and like that was the kind of the genesis of how I was like, well, you know, if you really want to flip her out, okay. win an Emmy. Right. And I was like, this is how you could win an Emmy. Mm-hmm. Let's get these guys together. And he was mm-hmm. like, and he does features, and he does amazing features. Yeah. And his cin- and like to me, I knew his cinematography. And he has an amazing it's cinematography. Great cinematography. Oh, yeah, it's Pablo great. is an artist. Yeah, he may as well great. be Picasso somewhere because yeah, you know it, it, it's amazing. And those two working together, they have like one brain. You see them, and it's 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 it it's works. stunning. It works. And then Tim will go in front of the camera, and he will pull things out of the actors. Right. Like he took Julie. My daughter not to, you know, be the stage mom. But (laughs) she got her script the day before. And she, the last thing she was in, she was 11. Oh, wow. So she is not used to doing scripts at all. And, you know, she had just, she, you know, she's been a student. And so now she comes into doing this and she was like, okay. And Tim just walked her through it. And, you know, like he gets to the point and he's like, this is what you're going to do. And like brought something really special and unique out of all of them and gave you room and space to do things like there's there's so much on the screen i gotta call him <laughs> well, you know, so, it's so it's so I funny because I, I had three pages in a movie recently and I'm like three pages we're gonna do wow what's it called oh, it's yeah. called Second Chance for Christmas it came out at Christmas time with Vivica Fox and Mark Christopher Lawrence and I, I play a bad host oh I'm, no. I'm, I'm looking I'm looking so that, that it's, it's, it's on Amazon so that, was, so that was acting huh yeah he was <laughs> you know yeah you know yeah but I, I got the pages like well, two days before and he goes, he goes I wrote this role for you James because it's so opposite of you here's your, your sides I'm like that's great three pages uh what do I do I'm acting in law Long time. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. But you, I, I respect for all that you do. Yeah. Sixty pages and forty pages, and I mean that's just that's hard work, folks. Yep. They're they're working for their money. That's hard work. Tristan. I think the camaraderie too that yeah. we had, yeah. the, the cast and the crew, and the the fact that we all knew each other and that we were very supportive of each other of everything Absolutely. we were doing. I think and that had together. a rap party. Didn't we have we're, one? Um, no, no, we're, we're, actually, ha- we're having one. We're that's having a very I nice segment. If I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we're going to have one on February 11th. Yes. At Tell the, them, Michelle. At the Elks Lodge. Oh, okay. The, I'm, an, I'm an elk. We're, uh, yay! Yeah, we're going to have, we're gonna have yeah. a red carpet, yeah. a red yeah. carpet screening. So, and so the information is going to be up on the Studio City website right. for people and to buy so tickets. Let me give the website. It's it's studiocity.shell. Yes. Okay. And so this, we're going to do it. As a charity event for the Elks Lodge Children's. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's nice. That's yes. nice. Very yes. nice. But there's yeah. about 100 Elks Lodges. Well, it's in um, Van Nuys. It's going to be in Van Nuys. But, but don't worry. A, I, we'll, already, we'll let you know where it is. I've already Thanks. spoke to your wife. <laughs> oh, yeah. and, yes. She volunteered you you're going. She so. Do you know why okay. I became an elk? Because the drinks are cheap. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I just found out they're five dollar the drinks in Barely. Um, no, because. The Elks Lodge parking lot in Pasadena uh-huh. is where they, they set up for the Rose Parade. <gasps> and if you're an elk, you can walk, go Smart. into the Elks Lodge and set up a chair no. on the veranda. Oh, my and goodness. Watch wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Wow. That's so funny. Stupid. So, Tristan, when did you start General Hospital? What year was that? 1990. October 1980. And I a, served him drinks in 1988 what? in Duke's Bar. <gasps> and That's I, right. And yeah. I was a hostess at Michelli's when you came what? in. What? And sat at the bar. I'll take your word for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, because, you know, there's a certain producer um, named Gloria, but you yeah. knew a Gloria, also a producer. Yeah. Don't, years don't, ago. don't forget, it was only a two day role. Two days? Scoot, you two, Scorpio was a two day role. Oh. 
And she took me aside after the first day and said, um, would you like to stick around? Being an idiot, I thought, you're going to have dinner. <laughs> she kind of looked at me sideways and said, just go out and talk to that chap out there and he'll give you all the details. Oh. That's how it started. However, that wasn't the first soap I did. I started on soaps in 67. What? Which one? It was an Australian one okay. called Hunter. And okay. Everything back then had a kind of a, a serial drama feel to it because they were still getting their act together back then. We'd only had television since 56. So 67, that was 11 years, yeah. boom, and they didn't know Dick hardly. Yeah. And uh, so it was all uh, really, like, you know, experimental at the time. Yeah. And it was a good ride. I just know Neighbors. Because uh, that's down there. That's from down that there. Came, that Later. came years and after. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I know. But of, I did so. a show in England called Crossroads. Okay. And another show over there called Emmerdale Farm. I've heard that. Uh, but this was way before it was like it is now. Yeah. It, it, it was nothing like it is now. Yeah. It was about a farm. Farmer Tris. Tristan, you have to tell your famous story. The Ooh. first time I met Tristan, he told me this amazing story about a little role <clears throat> that he turned down to come <gasps> here to do General Hospital. Oh, tell us, tell us. What role um, was that? Yeah, there was this buddy of mine who I'd met at a party somewhere. Oh. And... Um, he had no money, and I had a good career going at the time, but I also had a ticket in my hand to come to the U.S. So we're out. Uh, his name was... Just shit, I've forgotten his name. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're out having a drink one, one afternoon, and he, he's looking at me kind of a little weird, and he said, You know what? You're Max. And this goes on for a couple oh, of weeks till finally, God. finally, I, I said, "Okay, at the risk of being an idiot, oh, no. what is Max?" Oh, oh no! I'm getting, oh my God! Oh. And he said, "I'm doing this movie with George Miller. It's called Mad Max. Oh. We've been looking for the character for ages, and you're him. You're, oh, you are exactly what I see in that character." I said, "Look." Uh, oh, I can't, I can't hear it. I, can't hear it. <laughs> I, like, oh. I said, look, I'm sorry to tell you, but i got a ticket in my hand to go to the U.S. And I don't see that changing. He said, no, you've got to take this meeting with George. I said, okay, I'll meet George. <laughs> so we go in. I don't know, it was about two days later. And have you ever had a meeting or met somebody where... Without even shaking their hand, you know instinctively you are never going to get along. <laughs> oh, okay, yes, I've been there, I've been there. And yep. thus was the case with George Miller. Really? And uh, so what happened was, you know, the Max goes off and becomes a huge <laughs> hit. hit. <laughs> and um, this guy turned out to be the writer on the show and the director. Not the complete director, George d did most of the directing. Yeah. And there's a story about him. After they became super successful, he uh, learned how to fly a helicopter. And so he's out flying around with his nephew. And the, he the, the helicopter goes down in um, one of the big lakes up in the north in the Blue Mountains. Bad, bad, a really bad crash. So the kid in the helicopter gets him out of the helicopter and swims with him about a half a mile to oh shore. Oh, my goodness. And kept him alive for two days with his body warmth. Oh, my God. And the guy died in his arms. Oh, wow. And the kid got, uh, I think, is the equivalent of the Australian Medal of Honor. Wow. You know? Yeah, wow. wow. That's incredible. Got a young kid, about 12, I think. Wow. And so, yeah, that was an interesting story. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> And at the same time, your life still it still turned out great. You have nothing to worry about. I there. can't complain. You can't complain, you know, <laughs> right? Uh, you know, I, I I look back on the 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 genre of soap opera, and in the fifty years that I've been doing it wow. in various different shows here in England and Australia and what have you, I've been involved in three events. Okay. The first event was. 1981 General Hospital when we changed everything. Yes. <laughs> that, that's the definition of an event as far as yes, I'm concerned. Yes, it was. It was. And the second event after that was the second series of Night Shift. When you oh, looked yeah. at Night Shift, Night Shift was a whole different animal. It was. 
written, produced like a primetime show, edited mm-hmm. like a movie. Mm-hmm. We had a whole lot of different things that we were into. Kind of like this. Kind of like studio. Kind of like this, yeah. This is this. the third thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I, this wow. is the third Thank time you. I've That's been involved in something which oh. is a potential game changer. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. so, therefore, you know, when I started to get into the character, I started to think about that. I'm getting, yeah, this is really exciting. You know, I'm going to keep that to myself. Maybe the others have figured it out, but <laughs> I figured it out. And so, consequently, you know, when I, can, when I talk about what we're doing here, mm-hmm. it's really with enthusiasm and yeah. a lot of respect. Yeah. I tell people that come for the soap actors, stay for the actual story, the story. and production. Nice. Mm-hmm. And the writing. It's like, it's just, yeah, so these, you guys are shiny objects. I mean, you guys, I mean, you guys are, you guys are known, I mean, you guys are known actors in certain worlds, and you're a hot actor now, but everybody's into you now. So come <laughs> for that. Yeah. Come for that. No, but seriously, come for that, but then stay and actually really enjoy it yeah. more than that. Yeah. It's, this this yeah. series is more than That's just. That's what we're trying to, we're really trying to build an audience right now, and it's difficult because we have no ad budget. You know, everything right. that we're doing, we're all drawing on kind of our, our notoriety and data time and the right. relationships we've had with journalists in daytime and friends like yourself. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we did this in, I think, four four days. Wow. Yeah. So, so days. You know, wow. the, the thing yeah. is, I, I'm, wow. you know, we're in the process no of discussing... ADR. No wow. reshoots. Wow. Yeah. We're in the process of discussing, you know, where we're going from here, yeah. and only imagining what we can do I when we more. have we, we have a more. real budget when I can properly pay my yeah. actors yeah. And, and have you know an yeah. adequate number of production days, yeah. etc. And that's that's the hope for yeah. the next season. Yeah. Whether the next season winds up being as a you know as a digital series on Amazon, or if it winds up being uh, you know a uh, uh, half an hour uh, show on one of the networks, mm-hmm. uh, it's it's going to be here. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Carolyn and I'd like to encourage all the Elks out there to tune elks. in. Please. Please. Yes. 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 Support. Yes. Get that $5 drink and tune in. Yes. And have your grandson program the remote for you. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Very yes. true. Uh, that's funny. Yes. Now the young kids help you. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. DVR, I mean, whatever. I might get kicked out. <laughs> I'm going to go on and all the time. But the kids teach you. They teach you all this stuff. Um, I have to ask this question, Sean. Can I ask you this because we're getting we're getting close to to the end of the show. Okay. And I ask you this every single time because the fans will kill me if I don't ask you this. I have two words, Sean. Just tell me what you, what's going on, Cobra Kai. Wow, you know I get asked this almost um, al- almost daily. Yeah. Um, I, you know <laughs> I've I've had some communication with uh, with the producers. Uh, thus far, they they haven't written anything for my character to return. I would love to do it. Um, you know, the show's a huge hit. It's, it's a, a huge, huge hit, hit. and uh, you know, I'm very happy on a, a little personal note. I'm very happy for the resurgence <clears throat> and success my friend Martin Cove is having. Yes. Uh, yes. And uh, you know, if they give me the call, I'm I'm flying down to Atlanta and throwing up, throwing on the gi. If you watch this, the end of I think season two, you see the face of Elizabeth Shue. They wonder if yeah, she comes yeah. back too. But I mean, seriously, people ask me, oh, you know, Sean, it's gonna be a Cobra Kai. It's gonna be a Cobra. Like, I don't know. I don't know if he. He's really going to be much too busy. Exactly. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, the, that's the whole. <laughs> exactly. He's doing other stuff. He's doing, he's doing, Speaking he's of the writers, um, yes. so one of the other writers, um, Lauren de Normandy, yeah. um, we actually had a conversation and we've actually started talking about like kicking story ideas around Ooh. and like saying and setting some things up. So. Yeah, mm. everybody be real nice to us because <laughs> we have some ideas coming up. Sam, is, it Tell may not go well want. for him. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I'll get it for you. Whatever it is. It must have been fun writing this. I mean, it was, was it a blast. Was, it well, it was bittersweet because mm. Sean is so close to this because this he created the idea. Oh, okay. This was his baby, and when yeah. I met him, this is what he was working on, and this is how we started working to get together. And it's gone through different phases, and it, and it was a yeah. comedy. And um, you know, like getting Julie on the cast, that was a fist fight. Yeah. Like we. He well, was, you know, here's, here's the thing. He she's, like, she's, step- she's, she's my stepdaughter, and I said, look, here's the thing: when you, when you, when you have nepotism involved, when you're the, the <clears throat> child of someone famous, not me. But I mean, you look at Kiefer Sutherland, or da da da. Oh, right, right. You know, you, you get a shot. Mm-hmm. But if you're not good, it doesn't last. I mean, I, I hate to say it, but there have been some, you know, famous actors who have had children. Uh, who have gotten a shot and not been able to parlay it. And so I said, this is my baby, and I'm not going to stunt cast this with my mm-hmm. my stepdaughter mm-hmm. if you can't do it. I'm not going to stick you in with all these vets who respect is earned. And to her credit, she uh, came to yes, she the did. studio. <laughs> she sat down with me and Michelle and with Tim Woodward Jr., and she brought it. And, you know, 
there were things on set like she she doesn't have a lot of awareness about camera and lighting and things like that that only comes with experience. Yeah, you just learn But that. she yeah. has a she had a natural enthusiasm ability to take direction and and I think she killed it. And I'm, yeah. She did. Couldn't be proud of yeah. her. She did. She did. You guys, time's up. What? Wow. I can't. Oh, I wish you for really two yeah. hours. <laughs> Square, I just keep talking about life. Uh, thank you guys for coming in. Thank you so thank much, you. ladies. Yeah. We gentlemen. appreciate it. Thank it's you. nice meeting yeah. you. I'm just, I'm just happy. It's, just, it's so, it's so good. And folks. the website to go to so, is, okay, is so. studiocity.show. And please follow us on uh, on Twitter and on uh, Instagram, and we'll keep up with everything that's going on. Like I said, we're going to be having a red carpet screening in Los Angeles on February 11th. Tickets will be made available on the website. Uh, a lot of surprise guests. Guests, please join us. Now we're going to start with Philip in the corner. Everybody tell you where your social medias are. Say, start Philip. Somebody can find you on social media. Uh, you can find me on uh, Instagram at Philip Bruin. You can also find me on uh, Twitter at Philip Bruin too. Michelle? Um, you can find Charlie on Instagram at the Monkey <laughs> Troll, and I'm on Instagram at uh, Michelle Kanan. Yes. And um, go to our website. And you can get the link to Amazon. Right. So it's good. on like Amazon. This is a tough one because Facebook recently wiped out my entire Oh no. Everything. Oh. Gone. And so far they won't give it back. Oh. Wow. So okay. if it were there, it would be Tristan Rogers, right? So yeah. it's Yeah. Tristan Rogers, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, at Sean Cannon on Twitter and Instagram. Patrika? Uh, Instagram is Darbo Patrika, and Twitter is Patrika Darbo. <laughs> I am everywhere at Carolyn Hennessy, C A R O L Y N H E N N E S Y. And I, of course, at James Lodge Jr. everywhere on social media platforms. Follow me on TikTok now. I got I joined that whole wow. little TikTok thing. Oh, I'm getting tons of hits. Get so, it? Yes. I'm doing organizing tips. So go on TikTok for my organizing tips. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> of course, follow us everywhere. Follow the show. Studio City is the series. It's so good. And we'll see you next time. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to After Buzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.